Okay, now we look at little allele. Little allele actually is something special, particularly happen in the eukaryotes. Most of times if in eukaryotes, okay, uh, where we're going to look at this sometimes the gene, one gene that involved in many functions, not only one functions only. Okay, so what's mean little allele? Little allele means that a particular allele when they are in the, what we call this, uh, homozygous form or heterozygous, it may cause the death of the particular individual. So this is called little allele, okay? So little allele was first uh, uh, discovered by this person called Cunot, okay, in 1905, when they tried to find out the coat color in the mice, okay, the inheritance pattern, okay? So we do have the, this gene that coat, right, uh, largely responsible for the coat color, okay? The aguti gene. So these aguti genes, they have this, okay? They have the A, wild type allele A. Wild type allele, wow, okay? In bio, when you say wild type means normal. So when people say that you're wow, actually you are normal, right? In bio, okay? So mutant types means that mutated one. Okay? Mutant type means mutated. So you can see that mutant allele. So this is mean mutated. Now, don't have this uh, wrong concept. Oh, normal must be dominant. Mutated must be recessive, not necessary. So when you answer the question, please always check it carefully. Okay. So we have the, this big A allele code for the yellow and black pigmentations in the hair. So this kind of hair we call as a agouti hair or dark hair. So what's this mean? So you can see that the color will be something like this. Yellow. It's a blend. Yellow and brown. Why do I have a brown? It's okay. Brown. Okay. Yellow. Brown. It's a mix. Are you clear? It's yellow and black pigments, okay, or brown pigments. So you're making something like a brown color. So it's a mix. So this one we call it as a aguti in color, right? Aguti. Then another mutant type, okay, the allele is A, A Y allele. So we'll code for the lighter yellowish color. So it means that you're going to have aguti, dark color, or yellowish color. So do not carry out experiment. Okay. When this yellow mines, when I have the yellow mines cross with the homozygous wild type aguti mines, 50 yellow and 50 aguti will obtain. So if the question tells you something like this, this information, you need to find out which one dominant, which one recessive. If the question tells you like this, yellow mines cross with homozygous wild type aguti mines. So this is homozygous wild type. So homozygous wild types, I know that it must be big A, big A, chrono. If I have big A, big A, I won't get 50-50 because dominant allele will must whatever we have for the yellow mice. Are you clear? So it means that big A allele is the recessive allele. So that's why yellow mines, you have big A, big Y, A. So big A, Y actually will be dominant. Crano, confused. Okay, now let us look at this. Huh? The question says that when I cross the yellow, Cross the yellow with the aguti. Okay. And I have 50% yellow and 50% dark or aguti. And this aguti day is homozygous. If the aguti is homozygous, then I know that it must be big A. Big A. Prana. So yellow, I don't care. Because if the aguti is the dominant, if is dominant. Okay, if A is dominant. If A allele is dominant, means that I don't care this one already. Lah. Right. Because you are going to get everything will be 100% aguti. 
But question tell you that I get 50%, 50%. So means that this one, big A allele cannot be dominant allele. So big A allele is a recessive allele. This thing, the insomissions. So means that A cannot be dominant, it's wrong. A must be recessive. But if A is recessive, yellow must have one AY, right? So it means that this one, it cannot be AY, AY. If it be AY, AY, then I won't get 50, 50. So without, in order to get 50, 50, I must have A, Y, A. Can you see that? So this yellow is the heterozygous. So this is what I say that very important when you do this gene, uh, genetic crosses. Okay? Whenever you do a genetic crosses, you have to read the question carefully and then you will be able to figure out what is the genotype. Okay, for yellow mice here. Are you clear? Okay, so this indicates that yellow mutations is a dominant and all parental yellow mice were heterozygous. Okay, so means that uh, no matter how Q not try to find out, they cannot produce homozygous for yellow mice. Are you clear? Homozygous cannot. Impossible. Okay, so Q not start to find out why. Okay, uh? so let us look at this why. So draw a genetic diagram to show the probable result of mating two yellow mice of genotype big AY, big A, so heterozygous. So heterozygous cross with heterozygous, we should get a ratio of three to one, correct not? It's a monohybrid, one gene only, one gene only. So if a monohybrid in this case, I should get three to one. Are you clear? Okay, huh? so this is a dominant trait. So I, mean, I, get, I should get yellow, three. Aguti is the recessive trait. So aguti should give a one, okay? So when you cross half of them, a y half up, okay? Then we are cross like this. What actually happened here is when the mice is homozygous, when the mice is homozygous for a y, they die. They can't survive. Are you clear? They can't survive, okay? So if heterozygous, they can still survive, but they're yellow. Heterozygous is still yellow. Why? Because AY is the dominant allele. But if big A, big A, it will be aguti dark. So in this case, can you see that yellow coat? How many? This one not counted because they are still born. Means that something like abortion, something like I mean, a miscarriage take place. Okay, so they won't be able to get born. So it means that remaining ones you have one, two. Okay, yellow and one for the aguti. So each of them probability is one over four. So total is two to one rather than three to one. So why? Because AY is a little allele. AY is a little allele when they are in homozygous dominant. Are you clear? AY actually is the allele in the homozygous dominant stage. It becomes the little allele. Little mean... Uh, killing, okay, in this case, die, okay, we call it little allele, okay, so we look at what is, or what are the problem here, why, why this thing happened, okay, just now we say that big A allele is the wild type, means that normal, but AY is the mutant allele, so mutant means that abnormal in this case, so for coat color doesn't matter, but if this AY involved in other functions, so let me look at let's look at this. Huh? So first, AY involved in the coat color. So if AY together with AY, in this case, it looks like okay, I will get the yellow mice. But it died. Why? We're gonna find out. But if A, Y, with A, yellow, they survive. If A and A, we get the aguti or dark, they still survive. But if A, Y involved in other metabolic functions, let's say A, Y also involved in a particular metabolic enzyme. Okay, what happened here if A, Y, A, Y? So because AY is a mutated one, so they may not have a functional enzyme. Okay, 
โอ้ก็คือดิสดิ no functional enzyme so they won't be able to grow they won't be able to develop they will still I mean let's say for example in embryo stage they already die already but if a y a why they can survive because at least they have one normal allele this normal will give them a functional enzyme can you see that uh, if a a then doesn't matter a a basically they are normal lah, nothing can i see that so this is why little allele actually take place because some of these gene they involved in other function particularly involved in the metabolic function so if this mutation take place because a y is a mutant is abnormal one so when it's abnormal so when they are in homozygous uh, status in this case homozygous cp in this case they won't have functional enzyme so therefore they die so coat color doesn't matter but internal enzyme that is very very important the good color, yellow color, yellow color, lah. black color, black colors, doesn't matter, right? But the thing here is, if involved in the metabolic enzyme, then what we can see here is, you will cause the lethal effect, okay? So therefore, we say that AY is a lethal allele. Now, but in which conditions? When they are in homozygous. Okay, when in a homozygous uh, dominant case, okay. So therefore, you cause the the disease or you cause the, the this uh, mouse to die. Okay, so little earlier uh, uh, earlier cause the death of the organism that carry them. So it carry them in what form? Okay, so they are usually result in the mutations in the genes that are essential for the growth of development. Okay, so little earlier can cause the death of organism prenatally before they are born or any time after birth. Okay, uh? although they commonly manifest early in the development. Okay, so little earlier may be recessive, may be dominant or conditional. So cystic fibrosis is a recessive little. So means that two copies of the allele. Man cat recessive little, also two copies. Huntington disease is a dominant little. Dominant little means that need one copy enough already. Favism. Favism actually is a conditional little. Conditional little means that under normal conditions they won't die, but when exposed to a particular chemical or particular uh, uh, situation, they will die. So this favism, favism actually is with the disease is called G6PD. Deficiency. So a certain uh, bean, they call it broad bean, a fava bean, they cannot eat. If they eat the fava beans, they will die. Okay, so for this, those people with G6PD deficiency. So those are the example of the little allele. So the question actually come up before man cat. Okay, when in a practical, I will, I will show you guys again in, regarding to this man cat, okay? How the recessive little actually take place, okay? So again, the whole thing here are not in your syllabus. So this one, because question come out, I add in, okay? So for you to read about it, at least when come down and, uh, in exam, why we didn't get three to one. By right, according to the ratio, three to one, we won't get it and get two to one only. So why? So this is because of the little effects from the little allele, okay?